Hello and welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, a technical architect in MuleSoft. Today we are going to see uh, how caching can be implemented in Mule 4. Before taking a look at the demo, let's see the general concept of caching. So you might need to use caching whenever there is a, a situation where there is uh, a time consuming operation running in your service and there is a likely possibility that the same request is made repeatedly for a specific span of time. In this situation, you can make use of caching uh, so that you don't need to make a repeated attempt to the actual source of information, but rather you can uh, uh, get the data immediately from the caching and then uh, performance can be tuned that way. Let's get started. I have created a sample flow already that reads the data from the database for our demonstration purpose. And this flow receives the request and uh, uh, sets the key for the database record. And uh, it selects the name of the player from the database. And it logs the uh, database action to indicate there is an operation happening. And we are going to set the response payload to the name and then we are going to convert it into the JSON format. I have already started the service and let's go back and check it out uh, how this works. So I have a simple JSON request with the ID 2 and we are going to read the uh, uh, player's name whose ID is equal to 2. Let's run this. So I got the response here and let's check out what the database content looks like. So this is my player's uh, database table and it contains uh, five records with these names and we have selected the record with the ID 2 now which results in Kumar. This is what we are seeing now. So this you might already know. So now we will see how caching works. In order for the caching to work, uh, we might need to configure caching strategy first. Let's see what the caching strategy is. I have already configured caching strategy, but let me uh, show you how to create one. So choose caching strategy connector. And in the dialog, you can see the name of the caching strategy, which you can give any. And uh, most importantly, you need to give the key expression, which is uh, used as a key in order to store the payload or related data. So here I'm going to use vars.userid because user ID is a field which I have already used to read the record from the database. Let me show you. Let me cancel this for now and go back to my sage flow. And you can see here the flow variable is user ID which is used to fetch the record from the database table. So we need to use the same uh, or whichever the flow variable that makes appropriate uh, cache the payload data. So we will go back and you can see the caching strategy with the key expression uh, vars.userid. So this flow vars will be used as a key. Let's take a look at how uh, Mule stores the uh, caching data. So this is a simple representation of how caching works. So there is a key value uh, hash map used by Mule to store uh, uh, key based on the key expression and the related data. Here we can't use our own uh, hash map because uh, if you use our own hash map, uh, as soon as you restart the application, all the data might go off. Um, uh, MuleSoft uses uh, in-memory internally in order to so, uh, store and maintain this data. Let's get into the demo now. So in order to cover a database operation under caching, we need to use caching scope. And uh, we put database operation and the related logger into the cache. So uh, only database needs to be cached, but I'm adding the logger in order to uh, prove that this logging works uh, uh, only when the database operation is attempted and the logging the logger detail does not appear uh, when Mule takes the data from the cache. So let's save this. And let's wait for the application to get started. 
yeah then we will hit it now so we are getting the same response but let's see the logs so uh, in this log i have uh, uh, something uniquely to identify the database operation with the uh, with the uh, percentage symbol which you can see it in the console yes so now the data is read from the database now let's try it again you can see the response coming uh, more quickly now so uh, you don't see this uh, happening again because it this is the only log available let me go for the repeated attempt so i am i'm reading multiple times and you don't see but let's try with uh, another id say one and check it now we get different data and you can see here the related log appears now let's try this uh, multiple times now you don't see the log so what happens is uh, uh, when uh, the database operation is attempted for the first time when uh, the id is not already available in cache mule goes and retrieves the data from the database table but uh, when the repeated attempts are made uh, the mule soft already would have had these uh, payload maintained in the cache based on the key expression one or two then it takes it uh, from the cache instead of going down to the database thanks for watching this video and uh, i'll come back with another interesting topic soon please don't forget to provide your suggestions in the comment section below and uh, see you soon bye